Hi guys, Shane here. I, on the board behind me here, I have put up the, I suppose, the curriculum slash exam layout of the Leaving Cert Higher Level Irish exam. And what I want to talk to you today about is a couple of things that I know is a huge bugbear of students. And one of the things myself, many, many, many years ago when I was in school was, I hated starting a topic and not knowing why I was doing it. So I think it's really important for students to know what exactly is on their course, maybe more importantly, what's on their exam, and why am I doing the stuff that I'm doing. So today I'm gonna to walk you through very briefly what's on the board behind me, and I'm gonna make sure by the end of this five, six minute clip that you know exactly what's on your exam and you have every confidence that you could explain this to anyone else around you. So let's start off with paper one. Makes the most sense, first number. Paper one, paper one is 160 marks and you're gonna see why I put the marks in here in a minute. There's no point saying I have an essay or I have a piece of prose or I have a piece of poetry to do. That's not helpful. When we're looking at exams, especially in sixth year, we need to put an emphasis on the things that are worth more than others. So as we see here, everything in blue, beside let's say paper one, some screw do bail or paper two, has the marks for the overall exam itself. And then underneath it, I've got the breakdown of where they actually come from. So with that in mind, paper one, on paper one, you have two questions, but one real written question. You're going to start off with a Clues Tishkin down here. Your Clues Tishkin is your owl. You listen to somebody, well, numerous people talk for 20 odd minutes, 22 minutes, and you have to answer questions as you go through the section. All right? So anytime you're doing owl work in school, whether you're listening to something on a tape or on a CD player or whatever that may be, you're working towards your owl mark. There are, the aural tape itself is the same for both higher and for ordinary level. So certain parts of it actually aren't relevant to what you're doing there. It's not just for the higher level students. There's also stuff there for the ordinary level. Hence why it takes 22 minutes instead of getting it done in like 12 or 13, because there's a lot of information. Not all of it is relevant to what your answers need. The next one and the big one is the Ashta or the D sport. And there's also a scale, but to be honest, 99.99999% of people do either the Ashta or the D-Spark. No one does the scale. It's quite a difficult question to do. So you have a choice of five essays, or either a D-Sporach, or an Orad, a speech, or a debate. So what are these going to be about? It's not like a junior cert level anymore, where it's, you know, write about a story or something like that. You're writing about topics that would be in the news. So you think if you think about what's in the news today, take a second, think about it. What's been in the news? And whatever has been dominating the news at this very moment in time, there's probably a very good chance that that will be one of the options that come up in your exam. So they're the topical ones. There's also ones historically that seem to come up again and again and again. And because we're teaching here so long, because I'm teaching so long, when we are doing classes, I go through the topics that come up again and again and again. So there's two ways to really look at this. The topical essays that come up that year because they were in the news around the time the exam was made, and also the ones that historically come up year in, year out. All right, so that's your paper one, 160 marks. So as you can see, there's a huge amount of marks there for the essay, and that's worth 16.7%. Let's follow me over here to paper two. Paper two, we start off with the reading comprehensions, 100 marks. There are two of them at 50 marks each. They are both equal, and we have to do both. With these, I love these questions, because they're copy and paste. Five of the six questions, so there's six questions in the reading comprehension. Five of the six of them are copy and paste. Find the answer in the piece and just write it down on the paper. So there's no studying involved. Yes, you practice during the year to get good technique, to get better at them, but you don't learn anything off by heart. Just copy and paste, and that happens twice. And again, look at the marks, 100 marks, 17% nearly of your exam done for copy and pasting. Prose, it's actually prose in English. Not many people have heard that word, I find, students. Think of them as short stories, short films, short stories. You have five of them to study in your course. You will answer one on the day of the exam. So five on the course, one will come up, a 30 mark question, and you will answer one of them on the day of your exam. Nine times out of 10, you're dealing with characters from those short stories. It's usually one question. Sometimes I'll give you three short questions and you answer two, but it's obvious on the day of the exam, you'll be able to see that. And as the year goes on, you get plenty of practice. Poetry, again, five poems on your course. You answer on one, and there's three short questions on it. You answer all three questions on the poetry section. Okay, so five to study, answer one. This is the same for every student in Ireland. Your school is no different to any other school. We all do the same Irish course. And finally, the extra literacy question on Literiach Vresha. What do we have here? Well, if this is the only choice question we really have for Leaving Cert Irish. There's about five or six different options. The three most popular options are on Trial, which is a drama. You have 
to a choice of doing five more poems. So five there plus another five down here. And finally, a hig not hit term is another one, which is like a, an autobiography. So there's three or four, there's six options. Most people do one of those three. And again, me personally, I like doing the drama. I find it, it's been on the course for over 30 years. So again, it's very easy to predict and it's very easy to help students do well in it. So there are your two written papers. That's what you're spending the majority of the year working towards. But before any of that happens, we have this thing up here, screw do bail. And with the screw do bail, you've got four aspects to it. First aspect is your fault you and your Irish nefiliach. Now remember, this is a common level exam. It doesn't matter if you're higher or ordinary level, you do an Irish oral and you all get the same marks. You're graded the same. So it's probably unfair for ordinary level and it gives you guys a great advantage. First two are really simple. Fault you. You need five points of information. Name, age, date of birth, address and exam number. Five points, five set questions the examiner will ask you. Two, Achrish Nefiliach, the reciting of the poetry. I told you up here, you have five poems to study, you answer on one. During the oral, the examiner will ask you to read one of the five poems out. You'll have the poem in front of you, you have the lyric, you don't need to learn it off, and you can write anything you want on the page to help you pronounce the words. It's like a performance. Then we go on to the Ser Chora, the free conversation. We say freeze and anything could come up, not really. There's a certain amount of topics that come up. Again, you know, you start with your basics, you know, where you're from, your family, your area. And then depending on how good you are, I'm an Irish oral examiner, so I, I can let you in on this, that depending on how good your answers are, we'll start to ask questions that become slightly more difficult. And we bring you to a place where we feel that you can talk, but you're being a little bit stretched. So sometimes people say, oh, I got asked hard topics. That's a good thing. Very positive. Last one is on trap pictures, the picture sequences. With the picture sequences, it's very, very simple. All you have to do, guys, is learn your picture sequences. There's 20 of them on the course each year. You'll be asked to read one out and you'll be asked to describe what happens in that picture. And again, that's worth 80 marks. All right, here's a little tip for you. Common error is everyone in school spends their time on this and on this, the prose and the poetry. There's 10 to do. On average, they take a week to two weeks to do. So you look at that 20 weeks of school and we spend so much time sweating, so much time getting anxious and getting nervous over these two questions because there's 10 bits to prepare. Look at the marks and look at this very carefully. There's only 30 marks for the poems and 30 marks for the prose. What I want you to do is a tip and think of this whenever you're doing your Irish course. And this is the most important thing I'll say to you today after getting an understanding. Your essay, your screw do bail, and your reading comprehensions. If we put those together, 100, 240, and 100. Put those together, you get 440. Up here at the top, your exam's at a 600. You stick that together, you divide your 440 into your 600. You get 73.3%. So nearly 74% of your exam, nearly 73.3% of your exam is based off one, two, three questions. So when you're looking at where should I invest my time? What should I do? What should I be studying? You have three areas to focus on. Your paper one essay or debate, your Irish oral, and finally your reading comprehension. If you do nothing else on the paper and get a H1 of those three questions, full marks of those three questions, you'll get a H3 in Irish without attempting anything else in the paper. That's not my advice. Attempt all questions, do them all. We want higher than that. But they're your three key questions, all right? So I hope now you have a better understanding of what's involved, what do you have to do, and maybe more importantly, where do you need to focus your time? Okay, thanks for listening. Hope you found it helpful.